So we're coming up to the end of the year and I think one of the things we start to do is reflect on what's currently going on, what's gone on this year and maybe what our plan is for next year. Um, as you might be seeing people uh, on Zoom or perhaps uh, your immediate family is noticing changes uh, for you and they're asking you what, what to do, I think one of the things to, to take in mind and, and to consider for next year, uh, at least what my advice to you would be to tell other people uh, and then maybe even to carry forward for this, uh, for this upcoming year, uh, a goal for yourself is to get at least one third of the year in terms of workout, every at least every third day would be a workout. So basically what that means is, is you're aiming for 122 workouts next year. That's it, that's the bare minimum I'm asking for, 122. For somebody who doesn't really work out, that's a perfect goal to be at. That's once every third day. Maybe you might have a goal that's a little bit closer to 200 or something like that, or maybe even more than that. But the point is that a, a, a fair goal for most people, especially if they're just starting and they're asking you for some advice, is one third of the year. So 122 workouts for 2021 in this case. Uh, that is sufficient to see some changes. That's sufficient to see some health benefits from it. Of course, more is better. It's going to burn more calories. It's going to allow you to get closer and faster to your goal in 2021. Um, but at the very least, even if, if life has really got you down, looking for 122 workouts next year. It's not that much.